Of course, you had Kess, Kettering Entrepreneur Society, right? The only society that has a corner office on campus. Right? Mm -hmm. you notice that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me some love. <laughs> it's really good. Now, yeah, we've been around since 2006, six, seven time frame. I'll give you a little bit of background on that. But to this date, we're proud to have ourselves as associated with at least 35. We kind of lost count. We're going to go have, have to go back and take a look to see how many businesses our students have developed as a result of just being here, networking, uh, and, and coming up with ideas and testing them out. And, you know, and the society supports you for that. Uh, so hit me, Sagar, or am I doing this myself? Yeah. So, this doesn't look like a very impressive slide, but this is what I want to get your attention to. Uh, I want to say it bluntly. We're not here to do startups. That's not our main motivation. Our main motivation is to grow ideas here, okay? And also learn from each other business, entrepreneurship, innovation, behavior. Okay, I'm, I'm really all interested in the behavior and the mindset. Now the best way to do that, of course, is to practice it in a startup set, right? But really, at the end of the day, this society is not about, you know, bragging rights that I started a company or whatever. That, you know, you can go pay 50 bucks downtown in a name and you've got an LLC. It's really the mindset you develop to think like entrepreneurs. How do you deal with opportunities? How do you notice opportunities? How do you prepare yourself for opportunities? How do you assess risk? How do you take risk? You know, stuff that engineering curriculum isn't going to teach you. As a matter of fact, it's a counter to that. Because what do you, what do you learn as engineers and scientists is not to make mistakes, right? Right? I mean, we're not, you know, that's, that's what happens in your curriculum. We don't really teach you risk capacity and risk assessment. That's what you're going to do here in an extracurricular way. That's what this society is about. So please, spread the word, let your friends know, because we've had a little bit of an intimidation factor going out there that they think you got to have a business before you can come here. That's not what it's about. I mean, the end result would be nice to have a business because it lets you practice what we want you to learn. By the way, I'm here to learn. Don't get me wrong, I'm not here as an expert or a professor or anything like that. I sit here and learn from you guys all the time, okay? So we're here to grow our ideas, advance our knowledge about business, and how to conduct business and things like that. And by the way, don't forget, don't forget, really, if you keep thinking on intrapreneurship instead of entrepreneurship, you know, with an I instead of E, which means working within somebody else's infrastructure, but with the same behavior as an entrepreneur, looking for opportunities to, you know, create a new product, push it, you know, convince people that they should give you money to do stuff, right? If you can do that, that's even better because you don't have to absorb the risk. Somebody else is. Right, isn't that nice? Yeah. So think about that as you come out of catering with your co-op experience and taking jobs out there. Look for companies that allow you to do that. Okay, make that one of your litmus tests. Don't just sell yourself to the highest bidder. Sell yourself to somebody who will allow you to do that. Okay, let's go to the next one, sorry, please. So this is what this society offers you, mentoring. We've talked to our students over and over, and the number one thing they identify after hanging around for a while is the value of this society is peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Okay, it's you guys telling each other what your experience has been. Okay, whether you have any or not, it doesn't matter. You know, you guys just kind of working it out with each other, teaming up and doing stuff, right? And by the way, most of our businesses here started with somebody's idea and somebody else teams up with them and somebody else steps in and pretty soon we're all improving each other's ideas. So mentoring is pretty big. And by the way, if you want mentoring uh, uh, from a faculty, industry, things like that, we can, we can create conduits to that when you're ready for it. If you think you're at a point that you really wanted to talk to an industrialist or some research engineer or something about what you're working on, we'll help you find that person and get to it, okay? So the next one, uh, Sagar? So mentoring and then of course networking, they sound the same, but really this society will allow you to start developing your network. There is no such thing as a loner, successful entrepreneur out there. Trust me. You know, you're gonna need help. You know, either as a teammate, partner, or something, 
or just people to, to talk to and vet your ideas and things like that. So your network is right here and I strongly recommend you. I wish somebody had given me that advice when I was a student. Instead of sticking your head in his books too much, which is necessary, I'm not going to downside that, make friends. Your best friends, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, are still from your college days. I promise you that. You know, your best man or maid or honor or whatever at your weddings are going to be your college buddies. Make friends and make a lot of them. And when you get into the business mode, those are the people that are going to come to, you, to your assistance. So, so networking is important. Those are the two things that this society gives you. And just so that you know, we are the only society on the campus that will provide you with funding, seed grants. Okay, when you have an idea and you want to start doing something with it, come up here, put your idea in front of your network, your friends and peers, let them help you improve the idea. That's what this society is all about, starting next week. This week we're not doing it because we're all new. Starting next week, that's what we want to do. It doesn't matter how crude the idea is, put it out here and let your friends help you improve it. Now in that process, they learn, you learn. And at the end of the day, please don't forget, that's what this society is about. You learn, whoever's standing up here is learning, whoever's sitting down here is learning. We're learning from each other, we're teaching each other. Right? That's what we want to do, don't forget. Now, money gets in the middle of the mix, and we have about seven years of experience with this now as a society. And we've seen what money can do. It can distract us. And every term, we try to improve that process to keep us from getting distracted about money. But we do have money, and we can help you okay, as a society. Are you going to be the judge of that? Are you going to be the one that's going to decide if somebody is ready to spend the money wisely to move their thoughts ahead? The money is not just for business creation. It's for tinkering or playing around with something, some technological idea or whatever, or moving a business forward, whatever you want to do. Okay, bring it in, and we'll talk about that. There are some procedures that eventually get into your hands that are around the room someplace, and you can read about it and see what that means. But tonight it's just philosophy. Here's a bunch of logos, and that's our wall of fame. Of course, we started that wall like two, three years after we started creating businesses, so some of them are missing. Okay, we just kind of were late trying to catch up with ourselves. But these are, you know, our proud accomplishments of people. I don't know how many of them are in business still or not. Some of them I can point to say, yeah, they're still there. And some of them have already failed, which is a great thing. To be successful in business, you're going to have to hurry up and fail. Okay, and then hurry up and fail again. The best learning happens when you're failing. Okay, but make sure you fail with a network around you so they can tell you how to do it better next time, okay? So just do that. So, you know, we've got these things and... We'd love to have you as our next company, again, without overemphasizing that, you know, it's not all about businesses and companies, it's really about, you know, just getting your mindset into thinking like this stuff. So, even if you don't have an idea, hang around, you know, hang around. Take a look at what other people are doing, and you'll adopt their mindset pretty soon. Again, okay? before you know it, you're tinkering with stuff. So, is that it, Sagar? Am I off the hook? Yeah. There you go. So Thank I'm you. Done. Oh, a little history you want, right? Just a quick. So 2006, six, seven. Uh, there was a foundation in Milwaukee called Kern Foundation, and they started thinking about you know putting some entrepreneurship and engineering curriculum, right? And they started making invitations to a lot of small private midwestern schools, technical schools. Okay, I happened to hook up with them, and I really liked that idea because serendipitously, right around the same time, I was thinking, oh, our students seem to be doing stuff in business, except they have no channel for bringing it forward. So it's all happening, you know, whatever a couple of buddies might be doing. I, I was seeing evidence of it, so I said, yeah, I want some sort of club or something here. And they said, well, you yeah, know, we, we want something in your curriculum, we want something in your school, so let's get together. So I got a grant from them, and I came back, and one of the first things I did, I went out and started asking students, who wants to help create a society? So I started right with the students, and we got a group of what we call founding members. There were about 10 for each section, and I have to do this, of course, twice. You do everything at getting twice. If you don't know that because you're in one section, everything you do in one section, I got to do it again in the next section. So that's just kind of silly from my point of view, but you know, that's what it is, because we're two different groups. So we did that, and we did that for one year, and we established an infrastructure for this society, 
And the one thing that from the very beginning we've kept an eye on is not to rigidize the society too much because it just won't work that way. This society is very different from other catering clubs. It behaves entrepreneurially. In other words, we're always open to changing our rules and regulations on a dime. When it makes sense to change it, we've got to be able to do it. That's why we kind of resisted a lot of you know, over-regulating ourselves too much. But along the way, we've had to also put down some set of procedures that, that remind us as a group, because the groups change, right? Every three months, you get a new group sitting here, right? And I've seen this happen and ha over and over, is that we sit here and we forget what we meant to do. So we've tried to keep a bare minimum constitutional way of thinking, and we're still working on it from term to term, trying to improve it. But we always resist rigidizing ourselves. We're a little bit different from other societies or clubs on campus. We were trying to be very flexible and agile and react to what makes sense quickly. And uh, it won't, you won't see that challenging you until we get into grant discussions, you know, seek funding, and all of a sudden, you know, we sit here and wonder, all right, now on what criteria are we going to grant say yes or no here? You know, and that always challenges us. But to this date, out of the group, I've only gained wisdom. It's pretty cool. You know, if you just give this group a chance, you guys always come down to the right answer, no matter how difficult it is. As a group, you always do. I get nervous a lot of times sitting back there and say, oh my God, these guys are about to roll over and give this person money, and he doesn't really deserve it. And you always fix it. So I just have to be patient. I just sit there and wipe my teeth. I hope I don't have to veto this one. I've never had to. <laughs> so, so, okay, you will do that. So, all right, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Any quick questions? Anything you want to know? We'll have question and answers at the last. Okay, fine. I'll go sit back there. Yeah. Uh, again, we have one small video for you. It's an entrepreneurial video. Now is the best time in the history of the universe to start a company. Because we are living in a geek meritocracy today, or as close to a geek meritocracy as has ever happened. My first two companies, we were all software companies, we had to spend probably 70% of our time and resources. We spent 30% roughly on making the product. We spent 70% on all the other crap. Marketing, logistics, channel partnerships, advertising, all of that stuff, like 70%. Now, if you, especially if you're doing something for consumers, you can spend 95% or 99% of all your resources making a great product, and you get massive leverage in everything else. And this only happened two or three years ago, right? It's because of app stores, right? Because uh, I used to have to worry, well, if I release a new version, how are people, how are people in a different state going to get it? Well, I better have a deal with a retailer that, that works in Tennessee. Now you make a great app, everyone on the planet can have it tomorrow, right? Same thing for advertising. You used to worry about how do, you, how do you reach people. Well, now you don't have to worry about how to reach people. What do you mean reach people? You make a great product. Everyone's already having an infinite number of conversations in all their social networks. You just want to be the thing that they talk about. So be great. People will talk about you. End of the story. Um, smartphones. You know, computers are, are everywhere. Without smartphones, this wasn't possible. Freemium economics. I've got lots of things to say about freemium in, in, in different talks, but freemium economics works really well if you know what you're doing, if you build a good consumer app. These things put together, uh, app stores, smartphones, open source infrastructure, network services, freemium economics, all of this is new in the past five years. All of it together make this a geek meritocracy, make this the best possible time in the history of the universe to innovate and to start a company. And all of the depressing stuff you hear on TV about how it's a, it's a bad economy and it's a bad time to, to do it, it's complete nonsense. All I ask about that is to say, well, when would you rather be alive? Like, is there any point that you, you think you would rather, like, would you just change your life today for, would you be back in 1992? Would you go back to the 70s? Would you go back to the 1500s? Like, when? When was there ever a better time? There, there, there hasn't been. There's always some feeling that, you know, kids today and there's malaise or whatever, but the facts are, the verifiable facts, is we've never been closer to a meritocracy. And if you're a geek, 
pretty sure some of you are. Now is the best time to be an entrepreneur if you've got the right reason to do it. Okay. So um, that was like the history why KES was started, and we are talking about entrepreneurship. But how exactly are we going to do it through our society? That's the main thing. Uh, first, I would like to start with like introducing uh, the leadership team and also uh, introducing everybody else in the room. Uh, I'm Sagar Patel. Uh, currently, I'm the president of uh, Catering Entrepreneur Society. Uh, I started a business in India in 2009. Uh, the frame is there. It's called Credence Corporation. And uh, uh, right now, it is having like four branches there. I have also started it in USA. And uh, I'm hoping, and I have got a really good, and that's why I was connected to uh, Capturing Entrepreneur Society to learn more. And I have developed new ideas, and I didn't know the US market. So uh, because of the networking which I have got from here, I came to know that, and I'm doing well right now. So uh, then we have Justin. Justin is actually our founding member, and uh, he was our past president uh, for spring term, and he will introduce us. So I'm Justin Shawrock, and I'm glad to see all you guys out here. This is really great to see. Um, so from when we started back in 06, 07, it was just a few people sitting around the room just you know, spouting off about little things that we were coming up with. And I think this is a great position that we're at where this is, the university in general can be aware of entrepreneurship. But my background, a little bit about me, is I, I was a graduate student. I'm recently finished up. Um, I also was working on a smaller company while, I, while we first were starting up the Entrepreneur Society. But right now um, I'm working with, uh, we have a nonprofit called the American Farm and Garden, and then I'm also working on a little development project on the side uh, with Anna, who's another one of the, uh, the members here also. And uh, so that's kind of a little catch up right now, but hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, introduce a little bit about, more about what we're working on later on in the term, and then kind of get everybody into the flow of introducing ideas. I think one of the big things really is for everyone to not think um, about being totally a, a stealth startup or a stealth you know, idea mode and really be open to everyone else's suggestions, ideas. I think that's really a, a good opportunity for everyone to learn. Anna? Hi, um, I'm Anna Tambulian. I um, started with KES um, last term, or uh, I mean last year, and um, I've learned to, I've learned a lot uh, just by like gauging um, how businesses go about vying for funding. Um, it's helped us really get clear on how to focus our ideas into something um, of focus, you know, like just real, you know, passion in one direction instead of everywhere. I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to do all of it. So that's really something I've, I've really come to know from this and I am really excited to hear um, more about you guys. Um, I'm currently um, in charge of mostly marketing, so I'm going to be working on a little bit with the, the website, and if you have any suggestions about uh, how it would make it easier for you guys to um, contact us or something, uh, I'm sure there's room for improvement somewhere, but um, we've tried to get everybody on the email list and everything and uh, do more with Facebook this term. Um, and I'm really excited to show some a little bit of what we Justin and I have been doing um, probably around third week or fourth week. So stay tuned, I guess. Vipul. Uh, Hello, everybody. My name is Vipul Lada. I'm a graduate student over here, studying in ME department. I am co-founder of Credence Corporation USA. I am Sagar found formed that in USA. I'll be taking charge of finance for this term. Whatever your financial queries are, documentation, how to apply for seed grant, after you are approved of seed grant, how do you get that money, follow up of it, I'll be responsible for that. So if you have any question for that, I'm the person you can ask. Uh, today you are having all this food, but the person who brought this uh, is not, a, uh, he didn't make up for the meeting. Uh, his name is Jeremy, and uh, he also has a company called Steve Spainball. Uh, so, that's uh, what we have. We also have a leadership team, like we just call it a general leadership team. Whoever wants to help can join us anytime. And uh, we have open positions for Vice President of IT and Vice President of Operation. So if anybody is interested to take charge, you're always welcome aboard. And um, now we will start introducing 
Awesome. Uh, can we can we introduce uh, more of the other leadership teams, Chad and Hunter? Please? Yeah. Chad. Chad. Uh, All right. My name is Chad Champagne. Uh, I became a member back in the winter, um, and I'm also the owner and CEO of Global Lean LLC. It's an engineering consulting firm in healthcare. Um, it was started up with a couple other guys, but as we continued down the road, uh, some people backed out. They had other priorities. So I'm kind of spearheading it now. Um, the Entrepreneur Society has been a great learning experience for, for me, as well as everybody else in here. I'm sure they could attest to that. So um, the only recommendation I have for you is to just stick with it. Um, even if you don't have any ideas right now, you know, listening to other people is, is highly beneficial. And as you go down, like I was just telling uh, Dr. Capagoli that when I was a freshman, I'm a senior three right now, when I was a freshman, I wish I had the opportunity to come in and sit in these meetings because of how beneficial it is. So just stick with it. If it's something that's interesting to you, um, just keep at it, and you guys won't be disappointed. Hi, everybody. My name is Hunter Casper, and I'm a A section freshman. And, um, you know, so last term was my first term in, with the society. And I can say it's been a really rewarding experience so far. The learning that you obtain from this organization is great. It's valuable. I myself have several ideas that I'd like to follow up with, with uh, several that I'd like to start um, sometime in the future. And uh, there's a process that, it, that you have to go through, of course. And this organization really helps you learn that process and solidify your ideas. Great. Oh. Uh, my name is Joel Labor. I am a, uh, a senior two from A section. Uh, I've been going here for about a year now and I'm in charge of document control for both sections. Um, I'm the original author of some of uh, the binding documents that um, help form and run our organization as it will. And I will also be working in the future on um, uh, solidifying other documents. Um, but like I said, I've been coming here for about a year, and I, I was never really one to comment too much during a lot of presentations. But I would recommend still coming just for the fact of learning what people have to say, and their inputs alone is extremely valuable. And I would, uh, I would totally recommend it, and I thank you all for coming. Go. <clears throat> All right, I'm Eric. I've uh, been here since 2008 or so. Uh, I guess I don't have any leadership positions, um, no businesses at the moment, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, I guess I've, I've dabbled in a lot of businesses, I've failed a few times, um, so I guess I'm looking for the next failure project to start. Um, so I'm usually the, the grumpy guy in the back, the, the pessimist, that will <laughs> kind of rip you apart. He's the best at that. Um, but I guess my, my one note to say is uh, this is like business and we're all a bunch of noobs, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but just don't take things personal. Uh, sometimes things can get heated and just focus on the business part of things. Um, but just don't take it personal because uh, there is money involved and sometimes... We or I can be harsh, so just don't take it personal. We're just trying to look out for the best uh, for the business and how you can learn. So, I guess that's it. That was Simon Powell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm that. <laughs> can we start introducing members? We can start from there. I'm Ryan Taylor. Um, I'm a junior two. Well, I'm a junior one, and I uh, I don't know. I just joined the other day. <laughs> awesome. Um, Cameron Squain, uh, senior one, uh, work in finance, corporate finance, so I'm just trying to start thinking about, you know, I guess the entrepreneurial side of things, whether I can start a company one day or not, so that's what I'm here for. I'm going to pick it up. Hey, alright. Um, my name is Kara. I'm a senior. I'm an Emmy. I switched to an innovation 
entrepreneurship minor, just kind of, uh, kind of help balance out the technical with some uh, business and creativity. So um, I always have a lot of ideas, and I'm kind of learning to see if I'm able to harness any of those ideas into something I'll actually make a profit. And I'm more interested in non for profit. So um, that's why I'm here. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Tiali, my major is mechanical engineering. I came here back to spring term this year. And because um, I have an engineering background and I'd like to reach out to like uh, business staffs and learn something about entrepreneurship. And um, uh, after one term, uh, after one term like in spring term, I really learned a lot from those like uh, presentations and the uh, seed granting. So I think it's worth it. That's why I came here this term. Awesome. Hello? Please? Um, hi, everyone. I am Paul. Uh, I am in biochemistry and chemical engineering. Uh, I came here, I have no business idea, but I came here so, so I can learn something because back there in my country, we don't have this, uh, this much of opportunities to learn. Uh, it is not valorized there. And I'll be here for, for six months, so I have a lot of time to, to learn everything I can from here. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil, sir. Awesome. Hello. My name is Del. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a junior. Um, I'm actually from the area. This is from here. Where is it? Frank and Moon. Actually, pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, currently, um, I'm working at a relatively new company. Um, so I'm working for a new company. We're about 12 years old. And um, we work with like manufacturing. And um, it's like, I'm trying to take like a bigger role in like, um, we'll see like where we could improve our company. So I guess I, this is my first time coming here. And just kind of learn some new ways, just kind of like get motivation and push the company in the right direction and accelerate progress. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alan? Uh, my name is Alan Zavala. I'm a sophomore one. I'm a mechanical engineer. And I just came here to learn and came to get some ideas. First time coming here. I'm Hillary. I'm a sophomore. Uh, I'm business right now, changing majors quite a few times. I'm just trying to learn stuff, uh, having fun with it all, so that's what matters. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can come up with my own business idea. I'm Paul Kruger, I'm a student three. I've come here a couple times the last couple of years, uh, but I've been so busy. Now I'm seeing three, I have nothing better to do than to <laughs> entrepreneurship. I, I've always thought it was really cool because it's stuff I don't know about, and so like I like to come here when I can. But I was I've just been so busy in the last few years. Like it's like a breeding ground for like knowledge slash wisdom. Like you can kind of see people bringing knowledge to the table, but then you get to learn from them, and that's wisdom. And so it's kind of cool, like to just see all the lessons learned. And that's why I like to come here. Uh, my name is Rutvij Mampura, or nickname as RPM. <laughs> because no one remembers me as Rukwit, so yeah. um, well, uh, I have like you know this is my seventh year in engineering. Like uh, like I did my diploma and uh, bachelor's both in automotive engineering, and now I will be pursuing a master's in automotive systems. So yeah, uh, there were like many ideas which I wanted to do back there in India, which you know like everyone you know like all the professors and all were like yeah you should do this but since we didn't have a you know research you know we didn't have a strong research you know facility so you know those ideas were not put up into practice and they just remained as a 200 page book so uh, you know let's see like i always thought entrepreneurship is not for me but 
after you know seeing and like you know being here and mm-hmm. all so let's see if you know those ideas can work out and maybe with the networking and you know the help maybe one day cool all right i'm um, steve riley um i'm emmy junior one and I'm just here to learn what i can um i guess more about the entrepreneur and business side of things so that's pretty much it all right, I'm Frederick Garcia. I'm a junior one. I'm pretty much here because I got a few ideas bouncing around in my head. I want to see if I can do something with that and, I don't know, learn as much as I can on the way. Hopefully a little bit of communications type skills because I don't have that <laughs> very well. Okay, you'll <laughs> learn them here. Uh, if you can't tell. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, my name is Mark Biakma, I'm, uh, I'm a graduate student doing a uh, Master of Science in Engineering Management. My un- undergraduate degree is Automotive Engineering. And uh, I've been working the last six years in automotive business. And I would like to learn more about the uh, mindset that needs to be uh, if you start your own company. Okay, um, I'm Marshall Brocker. Um, I'm a freshman, uh, mechanical engineering. Um, I just signed up at the fit club fair, so. <laughs> All right, so. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, me? Uh, oh. Okay. Go. okay, I'm Eric Barch. Um, I'm a senior tier right now, computer engineer. It's kind of weird, I'm doing three back to back, so I'm originally A section, now B section, going back to A section. Co-founded uh, Lava, which you saw up on there, um, with my business partner, uh, Billy Lindemann, and our third uh, co-founder ended up leaving us um, recently, but um, we do a lot of web development, a lot of uh, mobile apps. Um, lately we've been working on some projects uh, headed towards the consumer electronic field, but uh, just trying to get out of school. Now that we've started talking to investors and you know being here in KES has really helped a lot. So. Um, my name is Miranda Perry. I'm freshman one, CS major. Um, I found out actually about um, KES at my DECA state competition. There was a table from Kettering about it. Oh. And um, they told me that this was a really good opportunity and it actually helped cement my decision to come to Kettering. Um, I've always had kind of a passion for business alongside my passion for IT. And I figured that this would be a good place for me to learn from other people and um, find out how engineering and business can work together. My turn. Uh, I'm Nick Ismendi. I'm also a CS major. Uh, I also really like IT as well. Uh, I'm here because of the uh, the booth at uh, the club fair and. Uh, Professor uh, DeMonte, is that his name? Uh, he invited me to, to come here as well uh, while we were eating uh, Hors de Vores uh, at that uh, thing over there. Uh, so, yeah, we were both eating, like, you know, cheese and... Hors d'oeuvre. Or hors Yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> 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 that's okay. <laughs> we'll get to know each other pretty well here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I think if there was any tension in the room, it just relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He should have started. <laughs> uh, now I would like to call uh, Justin to tell you like what activities we done uh, for spring term and summer term. So I guess the idea of this is to give you guys a little bit of a background um, for what's happened over the last six months, um, especially while you guys were gone over summer term, or maybe some of you, you know, at least can talk, at least know back to spring term. So these are the business ideas that were really well. There's actually a lot more in here. So last term, uh, we had a couple speakers. Uh, one of them was Art Demonte, um, and we have been trying to get those podcasts up so that we can learn more about those and anyone who missed those really can learn so hopefully that we can do some of that this term also 
And then we also had Abra. Abra, who is um, the co-founder of June Energy, which is up on the wall there too. Um, so he kind of came back as an alumni and spoke a little bit about his experiences with that, and then also his experiences on campus uh, currently right now. Um, so did these come in and out? Is that what you're... So networking. Aside from KES, this room here, there's outside networking. And really, we encourage everyone to go outside of this room and network beyond this group of engineers and, and a handful of, of other people with this small subset of knowledge and get out and get an idea for what looks up, what, what it looks like in the outside world. So here's a networking uh, example from Automation Alley. Automation Alley, there's another uh, networking event, October 18th. And so we encourage anyone that's interested to come out and go to that. That'll be a good uh, opportunity for anybody that does have um, ideas or or businesses, or even none, just want to get out and get experience talking and communicating with people to go out to that event. And then our grant presentation. So this is a slide showing uh, Grace, who gave their one of their grant presentations last term. And then also the companies that were funded. So these were the two companies last spring term that were funded. Um, My Life Secret, Our Home, uh, neither of which are here right now. Yeah, um, yeah their, their uh, plaques are over there. Uh, My Life Secret um, is a, an online website that really, I think, targets more towards uh, people can post and basically put up their secrets. And their, their idea is to be a, have a nonprofit side of that to help people that may have, may have problems, um, family problems, you know, maybe you're dealing with uh, some emotional issues. Our home um, is actually catering towards women veterans, um, and their goal is really to, to take those veterans and then place them in a, in a home environment that allows them to grow and really come back into society as a very uh, sustainable uh, person. And then summer. So last term was a really good term. We had quite a few presentations. Um, this shows uh, a lot of the, the, the pictures of everyone that attended. There was a very good turnout. And then there was also quite a bit of ideas exchanged over the, the businesses that were funded also. So. The businesses that were funded were these four right here. So Bionysis was funded for a prototype that they were developing for um, uh, aqua farming, I guess. And then uh, Social Security, they were funded for um, developing a uh, social uh, security system down in the Bahamas. And then Dollar Revolution um, was or established as an online uh, survey company. And then, of course, Chad and Global. So I think that's, a, that's to catch everyone up to speed. Because the, the, the main point is to get everyone to know what happened on the term that you weren't here. There's a lot going on, and we want everyone to know, you know, it wasn't a dead zone when you left and came back. You know, there's, there's a lot going on, and, that, and hopefully we can get that turnover and a little bit of those ideas. These presentations are around. We have, hopefully we can videotape some more of this, and this can be something that if you are on your off term, either you can join through uh, WebEx or you can check them out on, on the computer and, and give them a really a, kind of a recap of what happened. So there's a lot of learning that went on there. That's what we're about. So. Now exactly what we are going to do in this term. We have 10 weeks and we have divided that into like two parts. One is concept, introduction, mentoring, and networking, and then funding, presentation, decision. So uh, what happens in, what happened in this six week is you, uh, if you have anything, if you have any idea, just formally or informally, you introduce that idea. You get uh, uh, like suggestions from all the friends uh, how you can improve it. And if you think and if you're confident that you can move ahead, then you can go and register for the grant funding, which is like uh, on the sixth week, you have to register if you want to present to get money for uh, your business. Then we go into the funding uh, presentation and decision week. Uh, we have like a two step, a three step um, funding procedure. Uh, people will go through the procedure and uh, he will tell you more about it. But just to tell you, like the grand presentation um, will be um, uh, in the seventh week and uh, all the companies who will be registering for this will present on that day. Then. Uh, there will be a deep dive next week. We will go into detail, like 
uh, what exactly uh, means what we suggested and if they came up with the solution and is the con solution convincing enough for the society to grant money for that business and uh, the main thing is like giving you the best solution to start a business so uh, let me call Vipul to tell you uh, more about like the grant we will go through all these things again in the fifth week like, not all but like uh, the main points of funding, like what you should do, what should, you should not do, but uh, this is kind of overview. From this time onwards, we have a new approach. Earlier, we used to approve funding based on money. The dollar amount you ask, we used to discuss that and approve funding based on that. We learned from that and we have changed and this time we have approval of line items approach. What does it mean? During your first pitch, we won't discuss anything about money. We'll ask you, what is your business? What do you need to start your business? List, the, list those things out. We'll discuss those things. Okay, you need a website. What kind of website do you need? Static, dynamic, what kind of website do you need? You need server space, how much? We'll first finalize what are your requirements, what things you need. We'll give you feedback on that. We'll finalize whether you really need it or not. Okay, you, you'll say, fine, this is my startup business. I want 10,000 business card. No, that's not the way to approach. We'll say, you don't need 10,000 business card. We'll give you, okay, we approve 100 business card for you. You can just go and print them. That's what is known as line of item approval. We'll first approve what all is essential for your business. We are not expert in that. All of us are. We'll, all of us have some knowledge in different domain of fee. In society, all the decisions are taken as a team. Professor Tovokoli is there to guide us. And <coughs> during final grant approval, there is a voting. All of you vote. And based on the final decision, the grant is approved or rejected. So the number one point is approval of line items. We will approve items. And based on that, we will come on dollar amount and we will approve that for you. Number two. Remember, it's not a rule, it's a guideline. Don't exceed $3,000 as your total cost, total ask. The reason for that is, as of now, we have limited funding. We, we want as many companies as possible to have funding. Okay, if you have some ex ex exceptionally brilliant idea and you may ask $5,000, okay, no problem. Come here, present it, justify to society. Fine, this is my idea. I can't work in $3,000. It's really a really promising idea. I want more money. That way, society can approve more than $3,000. But this is a thumb rule. Don't exceed $3,000. Ask limit. You don't have any business concept. You just want, okay, how does this thing work? I want to just try something new. That's what we call as proof of concept or thinking. For that, society can give you up to $1,000. Even if you don't have business, it's fine. You have right to try new things. Just go ahead for it. Come to society, ask for a $1,000 grant, and you, here you are. All the previous expense that you have borne on your company won't be funded. All the up new expenses will be taken care of by society. Capital expense with potential personal use will be funded on basis of 50% match. You want a laptop for your business. It has a potential personal use. Society will only fund 50% of it. That's 50% you have to put from your pocket. But again, you can always petition society. Okay, I, I request society to grant me 80%, 70% of the value. Society as a whole will decide whether it's legitimate or not. And based on that, we can approve or we can deny that. If you are awarded some award this term, we want as a rule, you should utilize your funding in next six months. It has happened in past, people keep their funding open for two years, three years. Every year we get limited amount of funds and if we don't utilize that fund, or if you come after two years, it disturbs the balance sheet. So as a rule from this term onwards, we want all of you to utilize your funding within six months of approval. And the most important thing, all the funding approved to you, is based on reimbursement basis. You have to first spend that money from your pocket, 
produce the receipts and everything to the society, and then we'll uh, we'll allot we'll approve fund for you. We'll release the funds for you. We don't give cash. Okay, these are two thousand bucks. Go go and just do your idea. No, you have to spend it from your pocket. Bring bring the invoices and receipt back to us, and we'll release the funds for you. But once the funds are approved, they are there for you. And any questions? If we have a question and answer session. We can discuss at that time. Thank you. Uh, that's a like a overview which you saw. But other than that, we have some social networking events, activities to just cool down and enjoy with all our friends. So I would like to invite Anna to tell you more about it. All right. So uh, coming up uh, week two um, on Thursday, I believe we have a cookout. Um, this is new. This is like. We're, we usually only have one social uh, per term, but um, let's live a little. Let's uh, meet each other and you know spend some time together, not in a you know serious fashion. And um, we're gonna have a lot of um, like uh, I think it was like sausage and beef, and you know just come out and hang together. That's awesome. I love talking to you guys. That's that's the best part of this thing. Um, and then we actually, um, every other week, we're going to have um, Luncheon and eat videos, which is basically you get to come here and have free food, and we're going to just watch videos about entrepreneurs who've made it big and what they learned, and there's all sorts of amazing videos out there. We're going to try to keep it interesting with, um, you know, variety of uh, different fields, not just you know, internet startups and stuff, but, um, you know, mechanical and product based, and, you know, if you have any suggestions for that, by the way, please let us know, because we would love to take some requests and um, know some more, um, you know, videos that are awesome out there and inspirational. And then um, we have a bonfire and gaming night that should be around fourth week or fifth week, um, and we'll probably take out the poker tables. Um, we're gonna we're just thinking about getting the location approved um, for the field that's over by the dorm. So all, if you have any, if we have any freshmen in here, you wouldn't have to drive or anything. You just meet us out there, have a good time. And then again, we have another um, couple of you know lunch and eat video things. And then um, we have our end of the term social at Red Robin, always look forward to, um, much better than Applebee's in the past. Um, and we just get to reflect on after the, you know, after the funds are all awarded and um, just really reflect on everything in a good positive light, you know, chill out. It's great. I love it. And then, um, so that concludes that. And then, Upcoming events, we have uh, Innovation Quests, as always. Um, every, uh, every week on Wednesdays, we have um, Sagar and the EAU program running the Innovation Quest, and you get to do all sorts of challenges, um, and you can have the opportunity to win uh, prizes of 250, 500, and 1,000? No. Um. <laughs> 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 Not everything. I'm coming. <laughs> These are weekly events which are on Wednesdays and we will have some uh, like innovative challenge for you. Like we will give you some solar cells, we will give you some uh, material and we will ask you to build something in 30 minutes and you will come up with that idea and the winner gets $100 cash. $100. That's what is the one I'm thinking of that you uh, That is the no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, that's something else. Yeah. Okay. Different events, sorry. Yeah. So, Hold on. <laughs> sorry, uh, for the false um, advertising there. Um, yeah, we have our cookout, I just talked about that. Um, innovation Encounter, um, which is coming up, it's at Lawrence Technolo Technological University. Um, and we want to take about five students out there um, to basically participate in a competition. And um, if you want more information about it, I can definitely send you the details. I think, Sire, you know a little bit more about that. Yeah, uh, it is like a two-day session at Lawrence Tech University. We will have our team going on there. 
and uh, they will give us some problem statement and we'll be working on that problem statement. They will have some workshops also related to that. We have to come up with a solution as well as a business idea for them. And uh, I think the first prize is $1,500 and uh, it is going to be a very good event. Uh, automation Alley. Yep, and Automation Alley is uh, third week Thursday. Okay. Um, on Automation Alley, I participated in that last semester, and that's a great event. Um, they provide all the food for you, and it's, it's a huge networking event. A lot of big wigs from the Detroit area attend. Um, I actually got the opportunity to speak with a large capital investor. He's a, he owns, he's the president of an angel investment company, um, Great Lakes Angels. So there's a lot of big names there. Um, so I would recommend definitely signing up for that if you have the uh, availability to go, so. Awesome, yeah, and we're gonna talk to TechWorks to see how they did it in the past. Um, so we can get, we need about, I think, five people to go on that to really make it worth our discount. Um, so I'm really excited, I'm interested in going. Justin and I will probably go. Um, so we need about three more people probably. Um, and it'll be awesome. Um, there's all sorts of opportunities there. Alright, and do we have any questions or concerns, thoughts? We can start. Wow. Once after this, we can, like, if there are any questions, we can go ahead uh, and we can talk among ourselves. And we'll start the networking time. Whatever questions. Alright. Break. I have a comment. Go. Um, oh, comment. Comment. <laughs> Just to add to everything you guys said, this society is here to support you.